welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa Morell and I'm a personal stylist for the everyday woman. And you will see, hovering over my shoulder today, we are joined by the lovely Hannah, our makeup artist here at the Styling Academy. And the reason we've got Hannah here is because she is going to give you a little bit of a makeup tutorial of what she does on my face when we do sort of the proper, proper shoots. So on a day-to-day -day basis, I don't have the luxury of having Hannah here at all, nor are the wider team here today. Um, after I did that last one, everybody thought I had that team around me every single day oh. to do my YouTube. <laughs> I don't. My team work for the Style Academy. YouTube is completely separate. So it's just me and Hannah and the camera today and a few extra lights. Yeah. <laughs> so we're not just looking at makeup today. We are doing a full capsule wardrobe for Hannah. She's got a lovely holiday to go to. And I thought, given that she's in the studio with me filming that, she's treating me to a makeup session yeah. as well. Hannah works for us in the capacity of going out and seeing our clients really once we've been in. So she goes and, and completes the circle. So we might do a big face-to-face -face session with them and Hannah will go in and just make sure that they're feeling good about their makeup and their skin as well. But now Hannah has got a little bit of extra free time. Mm -hmm. So she is going to be putting her services on our website. So just like you can book out myself and Claire for online styling sessions, you will now be able to book Hannah for a Zoom online mm -hmm. session. And we were just talking off camera actually, and I think it is worth you doing an online Zoom session and recording yeah. it. Yeah, I think it's quite nice for everybody to see what actually happens because it's a bit yeah it's quite hard to, uh, yeah. yeah it's quite hard to understand how yes. you're going to do their makeup when you're yes. somewhere Virtual. else virtually <laughs> yes but for now let's start my makeup which means i need to take what i've got off which is the scariest part of doing this oh. i now know how vulnerable my clients feel standing there <laughs> in, in, their, in their handsome bra <laughs> so let's get going okay so what are we doing to begin with then okay so we have we've primed the skin but we're going to prep yeah. and prime it with moisturizer i have used this for years and years and years yeah. and I've not properly introduced you to it it's a white cream don't be scared you you massage it in and yeah. it will go to your skin tone oh my goodness I know so that's what I popped on your face now ah. and it's, it's fabulous that feels lovely that's why it, that's why it always feels so nice and silky after mm. you've done things it is it's that's lovely. lovely so what is that that's um a cc cream so it's a color corrector right I'll show it actually it's in clar that one right um and um it so it color corrects it illuminates but it's not glittery in any way so yeah, it's like really that. really nice really soft beautiful really velvet nice. finish we do now then. okay so now i'm going to pop on your foundation now um with the foundation i would say most people don't need foundation all over their face like a mask. I right. would say place it where you want it or equally try something really light. Okay. And then take something that's slightly heavier and use it as your concealer. You that would go into my dark eyes. Yeah. And you Brilliant. don't have to have a separate concealer. Oh, okay. So these two are fabulous. Right. I really like this one. Both the ones I've chosen for you are Charlotte Tilbury. Right. Okay. Light Wonder is fabulous. Is that the colour or is that the brand? That is the the particular oh, okay. foundation so it's a and light it, wonder and it's number four number four right okay listen to this about the sponges okay so when you get your beauty blender uh, which is the sponge um they come like this so you don't go using it like that because it will soak up all your product and your product's expensive yes so you pop it under the tap it has to be under the running tap because you have to keep squeezing it and as right. you squeeze it it expands because it's a sponge yeah and then rather than swiping your foundation on, yeah. you dapple. Right. Lots of little pats. Lots of little pats. And it blurs the area. And look at that. That's gorgeous on you. Really nice. Love that. Just I feel so light. Well, that's yeah. it. You don't want to feel heavy. You don't no. want to feel like you're wearing, your makeup's yeah. wearing you. Yes. You know, you just want it nice and light and you don't want to sit in the creases. And that's a fabulous thing about the Light Wonder because it is really light. Right. So now we've got the other one, which I was introducing you to. Now that's Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Okay, that's also a Charlotte okay. Tilbury one. I've actually got number five for you in that. Right. So now I've gone in with uh, the airbrush, but I'm using it as a concealer today. Right. So all I'm doing is going under your um, areas of concern, let's Area. say. And it's oh. a, honestly, the tiniest amount of product, that's the key. 
She's very kind. Do you notice how she didn't say you're just your dark circle? Oh, stop it. You've got beautiful skin, <laughs> Melissa. So there's lots of things you can do. As also, actually, let me show you while we're here, is the Touche Clap. It's fabulous yeah. because it's got, again, colour corrector in. It sort of lifts and it's that pinky tone that gets rid of the um, blueiness under the eye. Right. So it's the pinkiness, like a salmon colour, yeah. I suppose. So when would I put that on? What, what order? Because you just put... Can, concealer on yes so would i put that before it <laughs> before, or after yes yes before. You'll pop it on beforehand right, okay. but i don't feel you need that today but okay it, ordinarily if you think oh i'm really, quite a really dark, bad night just pop it under but the key is to pop it here you don't pop it all over under the eye okay right. you just pop it just on that line where where the dark is and then it reflects the light so with any of these concealers i would have just gone up here into my dark bit and just gone right round. Gone all the way around. Yeah. That's not the case. No, so less is more. So, right. Just dab on. And then a tiny bit there. So next we are using a brow, what is it? This is uh, from Benefit, this particular product. Uh, this is just a little travel size, which yeah. I really like. And yeah. and I know they do do the bigger sizes, yeah. but the travel size is great because the products can dry out quite easily. Right. So if you've got a travel size, then, you know. Just keep replenishing, yeah. Okay. Probably yeah. cheaper to buy as well if you're just trying something. Exactly. It's That's worth a, a try. Point. Yeah. But I really like this one on you. Um, and it, why would you use that? Because I've got a, like a pencil thing from MAC that I use. Why would I use the pencil or this one? Or okay. One over the other? It's really important to brush through the brows because they can be quite unruly sometimes and sit in different ways and yeah. whatnot. This is fabulous because as soon as you brush through them, they yeah. calm down, they they almost okay. sort of settle down. So you're doing down. both things really because mine has got the brush on one end and the pencil on the other, mm -hmm. but this does it at the this same time. This has got a little bit of colour in it, a little yeah. bit of pigment, but it's also got filaments in there as well. So it will just, they'll all sit, stick to your brow so that right. then it gives an illusion of a fuller brow. Okay, so that's that's them there. And colour? The colour on this one is your brown. Brown, so, just yeah, and I've brown. given you the brown. Right, yeah, okay. Yeah. So now I'm going to go onto your eyes. I want to use this particular palette, um, which I think is lovely. It's a Charlotte Tilbury one. Um, by the way, this, this video is not sponsored by Charlotte Tilbury. I know! In I any, way, in any Every... way whatsoever. Sorry. Okay, close for me. I'm just going to give you a wash of this particular colour, which is really, really nice, really lovely across the lid. And that's actually all you need today. So um, this is just the lightest of the colours yes, in the four the lightest palette. of the colours. And right. that's it. I love that on you. And you just put exactly the same coverage on the whole eye. Yeah. <laughs> so she's used that top corner one and just put it over the, the entire, wash, entire eye. 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 Yeah. Right so. up to eye eyebrows? No, no, not quite up to the eyebrow. But then what I will do is use this pinkier one. Yeah. Do not be scared. Okay. <laughs> and then you just go in your socket with the pinky. And it just seems to blend it out to nothing. It's beautiful. And then if, you know, sort of if you want to take it more evening-y, you can then go and pop a little bit on the sides, uh, which you would do more sort of on the sides mm -hmm. to lift the eye, which right. would be um, that one the, the darker one which we would do if we were going more evening but we're right. not today okay. So. okay so Hannah has just done one of my eyes eyelashes so there you can see the difference and that was with a Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes from Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> Sorry, again. <laughs> again. <laughs> you do need to get a deal with Charlotte I'm Tilbury. Sorry. Um, but what I was just saying is that I like my eyelashes quite dark. So Hannah's telling me to use this called Stila. It's a waterproof um, eyeliner. Right. Um, I've given you in brown because I feel it's a bit softer. Lift up my eye yes. and put it on the top on the waterline. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've just done that now. So there's the difference in my eye. So basically I had to, I had to do it in front of the mirror, but I had to hold my eye up like that and go in the top waterline mark. It felt a little bit weird. I've never done that before, but I can definitely see the difference. Mm. It's kind of made my eyes open yeah. up. Is that right? Is, that is right. Yeah. And I think it's great for people, you know, especially if you're quite hooded, actually, yeah. because if you put anything on the everything on the sort of top of your lash it's just dragging everything down whereas yeah. when you put it under the lash it gives you a bit more space there which, yeah. which is really key yeah really nice so we'll just do the other eye and then we'll come back to you 
As you can see, or maybe see, we've been joined by Monty. Monty, do you want your eyelashes done? <laughs> Come and say hello to everyone. Oh, there we go. It wouldn't be one of my videos, would it, without Monty? I don't, <laughs> want, I don't know. I don't want you eating the makeup or licking my face. No. So, she's just done both of my eyes, but Hannah's made me put them on the bottom, like my bottom of my lashes, but I've only got about five. Oh, I know. So, she was just about to tell me that you can get a serum or yes. just a, a serum? It's a serum. It's yeah, a serum. To make your eyelashes grow. Yes. So, this is new to me. You put it on as if it's, um, you know, sort of a light... Um, a liner just across your lash line but when when would i do that before just at mascara? night no one no at oh. night time when you're cleansing your face cleaning your face there are lots on the market so um and, and different price points and that is is that the one you said from amazon this is amazon yes Brilliant. so that one's amazon that's a really good price point it's about eight pounds i think it's okay really, really reasonable because don't they go up to like a hundred pounds yes, they do they do so yeah. you've got revised lash at the top of the market like price point yeah. and then uk lash in the middle grande yeah. lash as well is is really good i've used that before and this one's and very do, good do they all work just as well i would say pretty much they work right. just as well and you could actually use castor oil Oh, mm -hmm. even better. Yeah, castor oil. So, a little tiny. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what, it, that does exactly the same? Yes. So, I would say roughly around the same. Yes. Wow. Yes. Okay. We will link the items for you, but personally, I'd go for the Amazon one, I think. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Now, it's not. What's that? Yes. Um, an <laughs> eyelash curler. Now, normally, we would, especially, you know, sort of when I'm working commercially, we always curl the lashes pre. Um, any mascara, which right. I think a lot of people find quite hard, uh, especially if you've got deep set eyes, it's hard to get the yeah, eyelash colour in. I've never used them. And well, yeah. it, it, they do open the eye up, it is amazing. Right. But the, the problem is that some people find that they can catch the lashes, and if you've only got a few, you want to yeah. hang on to them. So yeah, yeah. Um, this is a heated one. So okay. I'm going to get you to do it. What? And give you a bit warm. Okay, yeah. okay. So when you go into the mirror, just look down and then go under your lash and it will just lift the lash. Now we're doing it with the mascara on, it works better. But it doesn't, it won't just take my mascara off. No, no, no. So let's okay. see how you go. All right, let's have a go. If you blink down on it each time, it's quite good. That's it. That's oh, really opened your that eye That has up. actually. <laughs> That's incredible. That has actually just opened that up. I can see that now. Okay, so we were talking earlier about, um, you were telling me you'd got the hourglass contouring um, That's stick. what you laughed at, my, my contouring stick. So it's just completely the wrong... A bit wrong. too dark for you, I feel, Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> Look how dark that is. No wonder I've been looking so orange. <laughs> because I've I'm been sure. going, I've been going like line, 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 and then putting it everywhere. Right. Yes. Yes. So then and that's right. the problem, you see, because then the product ends up absolutely everywhere. Yes. You must think less is more. Less is more. And okay, also, if you it. are going to go for a contouring, which is absolutely fine, just go for a couple of shades darker than your actual skin tone rather than maybe four, four shades, five, five shades. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so actually, I'm going straight in and I should tell you what I'm going to use. Yeah, I'm yeah. actually going to use this. Oh. It is fabulous. Looks expensive, Chanel. Uh, I, I don't actually know the price of this one, but okay. to be honest, it lasts forever. Yes. So if you were to get it, it is fabulous. An investment. It gives the most beautiful hue of warmness to your skin that, you know, you can just wear it on its own. You don't need, you could just put on the CC cream that we spoke about earlier yeah. and then this, and then that is it. We'll link everything, but it's called there Bronze Universal. Oh, my friend Universal. Jackson. Universal. Okay. <laughs> And uh, does that brush come with it? No, you buy the brush separately. Okay. But if you've got a brush, most people have a brush like this. Well, not everybody, but um, that, that you've got is a kombuki sort of brush, which is a tight, tight brush with lots of uh, um, stiff, yeah, stiff, stiff, stiff stiffer stiffs. brush. Yeah, it's nice sheen to it. Uh, I have, hold on a minute, my makeup. Yeah, what you got? Charlotte Tilbury. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's a powder bronzer. Right. This is a mousse. Okay, so this is going to sit better on your skin. It's going to sit better on mature nice. skins because a bronzer right. can come, sometimes can sit quite dull. Right. Um, whereas this, it's again, it's not glittery, yes. but it just gives a lovely warmth and glow to the skin. We want to make you look as if you're going away. That's, I think it's so nice that you're telling me exactly what I need. Yes. So I'm all right to spend the money if I know it's not going to be wasted. Yeah, it's exactly, yeah, you don't mind. I don't, I And also, as I said, you know, you get these things in your kit, in your makeup bag, and they'll be in there for a long time because there's mm -hmm. a lot of product and you don't need much. Now, when, when we're sort of 
uh, more mature, we want to go up, up, up with everything. So we're not going Same right. With the they used to say, oh, suck in and go here, mm -hmm. but that would be too low. We want to be higher. So right. it's just here, okay? And we're giving almost like a little massage, so sort of swirling motions. Yeah. And then it's almost like just where the sun would catch you. So it's there, then it's there. Okay, and then it's just taking it on the jawline. I didn't know about the jawline. Oh yeah, it really defines the jaw. Really good. So there you go. But then how, you know when you see people who have got like an orange there and then nothing yeah. on their neck? Because you're going underneath, it's fine. So underneath. if you do, and if you find that you're doing it and you think, oh gosh, I've gone up here. Yeah. Just get your beauty blender in and just blend that off. Even though that blue beauty blender had product on from last time, but it that's nice. Matter. That's nice oh, because, because it's all then, blending. Yes, it all yes, in. it's all your colour. Right. So don't be scared of it, and that's the thing we make it play around. You know. Yeah. Um, but there, that I think that gives you. What do you think to that? Piece? Yeah, I do actually really like that. You can see the difference as well. But I think it just gives that warmth to the skin. So. You know when really you do nice. feel quite pale some yes. mornings and yeah. you think, well, I just want to brighten my face up. Just go on with the with that. Yeah. Okay, lovely. So, you know, you haven't got to use everything all the time. Yeah. Okay, so Hannah has just lip lined one side of my lips and I can't believe the difference it makes. It does. It really lines the lip and I think it just makes such a difference. But you're just going just from the base up to the cupid's bow and that's the way you do it you don't go the other way because you close the mouth you want to open it up open it up you look like you've paid pounds for those lips i know <laughs> not a filler in sight um, i think i needed to even me I up think but we do. Uh, so i've just used a chubby stick <laughs> <laughs> Which we've just had a discussion as to whether that's the correct terminology. But, but I made it up. I yeah, but really Jo says so she's used it. Uh, she uses it as well. So that's a number seven. It's in very similar shade to the Max Factor number sixteen yeah, that, that I or I use anyway. Daydreamer. Daydreamer. Oh, there we go. That's me. Oh. I'm a daydreamer. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, so we've got one last product to show you mm -hmm. before we start on your wardrobe. So yes. what is that? Okay, so. Um, there's, I want to set all we've done, okay? okay? Now, a lot of people are a bit nervous of powder because mm -hmm. they're thinking, oh, that's going to sit in my lines and creases. That's the yep. last thing I want. Right. Um, so you need a super, super fine powder. Right. This particular one is called Ambient. And, and it's, it's Hourglass. Hourglass, yeah. Hourglass. And it's called okay. Ambient. But I'm going to show. It's beautiful. The sheen on it is just gorgeous. So you go in with a brush. Yeah. Tip tap. Get the right. excess off. And you can then go, and you can put this anywhere. Like, yeah. When I've done it, you will see. And when you say set it, so this just means it lasts longer. Yeah, lasts okay. a bit longer. And also, if you've got quite sort of oily skin that you think, oh, I'm going to end up, you know, sort of ending up a little bit shiny, uh, this is fabulous because it just takes away any shine. All right, okay. There's lovely finish on it. It's just gorgeous. It's so velvety. It's called dim light. Oh, dim light. That dim is light. the colour then. Yeah, right. That's the colour. Okay, great. Okay, thank you. So, is that me done? You're done. Okay, all right. So, there's the finished product. Looking gorgeous. There we go. Feeling very nice, actually. It all feels really nice on the skin. So, my turn to do Hannah oh, now. Exactly. So, let, we're swapping services this morning. Phase two coming up, and we're going to dress Hannah and make her look really lovely for her holiday. Okay, so different setup now. Time for your little treat. Oh, exciting. Very <laughs> exciting. So Hannah's got her coat on right now because we've just run over from the house, to be honest. It's absolutely freezing, it's even though we're in sort of summer yeah. gear and about to do summer gear. But this is you, is it, typically? Yes. yes. Okay. And if not, it would be trousers with a big boot as well. So, yes, okay, I'm kind of... Right. Uh, so you go from a nice little floral dress to a big boot. Yes, that's interesting. But I would wear the floral dress with a big with boot. The, oh, good. <laughs> yes, is that yeah. really wrong? Yes, yes, no, that. that's not wrong oh. at all. No, I like that, definitely. Let's take your coat off for a minute, just so everybody can Thank see you. your shape. Remind us of your age, Hannah. Oh, 49, nearly 50. Nearly 50. Smiley. Don't look it. <laughs> you look like you've got an absolutely gorgeous figure. Very, very well aligned. Oh, well, thanks, Melissa. <laughs> if you do put on weight, where do you feel you put it on? Do you know, I always used to put it on my hips and my yeah. bottom. 
but since uh, sort of menopause and doing the HRT, yeah. I've now put it on my bust as well. So actually, I think it may have evened me out a bit. It more probably was quite small on my bust before. So okay, yeah. all right. But you feel a bit more weighty yes. down here, do yeah. you? A bit more conscious. You, a bit there. more conscious. Okay. Well, you you are looking incredibly balanced, and I would have said probably at some point you were nearing an hourglass mm -hmm. it's just that not many Way of our, back. <laughs> not many <laughs> of our tummies go in by eight to ten, ten inches now to be honest <laughs> no. with you but i think maybe just a little bit of strength through that shoulders and you'll look beautifully beautifully balanced and we're going on a lovely holiday so we have done a little bit of a capsule wardrobe mm -hmm. for her to take she's going to quite a nice place oh, aren't no, you quite um but as she said she then comes back down to earth and it's just normal mom duties in the spring and summer yes. months really isn't it yeah. so we've put some really nice pieces in there but I'm also going to show you today how I would bring that back to reality and back to school runs and things like that yeah. so it's a real mixture of things today but definitely a lot of really lovely spring colours and things to sort of enter into the new season really. yeah. so what I'm going to do is send Hannah off to get her first outfit and then I'm going to explain a little bit more about the wardrobe that I've actually bought for her so Hannah will come back to us in a second Second. Okay, so I just wanted to talk to you about a capsule wardrobe and just remind you of what we're trying to achieve in a capsule wardrobe. And that is this notion where everything mixes and matches together perfectly. And we're at the stage for Hannah now where she's got all of her base colours. So that's from here to here. And Hannah's base colours are blues and every variety of blue, whether it be navy blue, light blue, royal blue, it doesn't matter. So all of the hues of blue. Then she's got creams. She's got a little bit of khaki green in there as well, but that tones in really nicely. And then at the end here, occupying only 20% of the wardrobe is her accent colour. And these are the pieces that perhaps come and go with fashion and trends. And the important thing is that this accent colour will go with every other item in the wardrobe, okay? And we're only starting Hannah off with one accent colour. And I tend to do that with the majority of my clients to make sure that everything genuinely does mix and match. Once you have then got enough in that colour in your wardrobe, then you might want to think about adding another accent colour. But even with that second accent colour, I would want to make sure that it's still mixed and matched with the terracotta that we've got going on around there. As soon as you start putting the terracotta, the green, the bright pink, the purple in there, that's when it won't work because all of those colours won't mix and match together. So you are better off taking three base colours here for the majority of your wardrobe with things that are going to be timeless, classic, that you can pull out every single year and then just choose one special accent colour. So in my personal wardrobe right now, I'm wearing a lot of green and I've also got pink to be honest, but I can put two different colours in because I've definitely got all the basics there in my wardrobe anyway. Okay, look at this. Beautiful. I'm loving it, Melissa. Very Thank you. You can tell she used to be a model, <laughs> can't you? <laughs> you do move with such grace. Oh no. <laughs> you do, you look lovely. So the shorts, we've gone straight in with the scariest item, I think, for most ladies of our age, really, because getting the legs out. Mm -hmm. Not that you need to be scared, you've got absolutely gorgeous legs, but I think it works well with shorts when we do it in a quite a classy way. Yeah, I do. I feel amazing, actually. But you yeah. were, you're right, with the shorts, I, I don't really like my legs. I know that's a bad thing to say, yes. but I don't really like my legs. I'm quite conscious, but I find that these are nice because they're just a bit wider. Yes, and that is the key, actually. Is it? So if the shorts were tight like that around there, mm -hmm. you're exactly right. That right. is going to make your yeah. uh, legs look much wider. So we always want that gap there. Mm -hmm. to, and it's the same on the arms if you're wearing, yeah. if you, you're conscious ever, not that you need to be, but if you yes. ever are, then always go bigger on your arms yeah. and then your actual arm would look smaller. Um, but I'm loving this combination. Like I say, I think it's very classy mm. with the colours. 
and if you don't like this colour on top then you could swap it around so you could go browner shorts cream top okay. for example I love how just the little bit of gold there is just splitting that little bit of top up just that little bit it just adds a bit of detail the brown shoes goes with the brown belt so this is the really simple trick that I teach you all the time which is everyone needs a friend oh, okay <laughs> we do we all need friends and what that means in styling is that you need to wear two items of the same color at any one time okay so think yeah so think about matching your belt with your shoes or your belt with your handbag or yeah. um, and if this belt this bag out there for example you could pop that on and then can you see how just the trim of the brown bag there mm -hmm. matches the back there yes. matches the belt there I love that. yeah that's really nice it just helps to draw the eye together mm -hmm. and make it look really complete as yeah. an outfit but note that these brands don't need to match they need to be tonal oh, okay so it doesn't need to go oh my goodness that that brown is not the same yeah. as that you don't you almost don't want that yes to be honest because yeah. it's almost too contrived when it's like that so it's just complementary colors mm -hmm. complementary hues but that is lovely now i think this color has sold out i think i got you the last oh. one but i picked up <laughs> yeah i picked this one up as well and i have shown this top so many times mm, on this I love channel this one too. yeah i buy it for a lot of customers it is more expensive but honestly i just can't find one that is as nice mm -hmm. um so i do bring this one out but it is an investment piece yeah. but can you see how if you pop that with that outfit as well straight yeah. away you've got another yeah. outfit that goes really really nicely uh -huh. and this is where if we put that bag with it Mm -hmm. We could perhaps change the shoes up for a darker colour shoe. The brown works really nice as well. Yeah, just yeah. that pop of colour everywhere yeah, is really, really nice. One thing I want to show you though, given that we know you're going to quite a lovely place, oh, aren't no. you? So, and the fact that it's freezing cold, I can see goose pimples. On you. <laughs> there we go. Can you oh, see? Oh yeah, I love that. Can you see? Oh, that, that looks so nice. It's really smart. It's really smart, yeah. isn't it? So don't be afraid to mix blazer with shorts. That blazer and a denim short would look yes. really, oh, really, really nice. Okay, yeah. Mixing yeah. those contrasts. Especially yeah. at the start, you said you like a and heavy a boot. I do. Yeah, and yeah. then a dress. Yeah. So a denim that would that would suit me. Really actually. nice. Especially, just make sure with the kids. And, you know, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No. Bit but, edgy, yeah. yeah but right. that looks, that looks really, really nice. Oh, yeah. Too. Very nice. Okay. But. Now, I have worn this exact outfit before. I don't usually do that. I don't usually put a client in something that I've worn before, but I was stuck on this sort of terracotta colour for you. Yeah. And that's because, to be honest with you, that's the colour that is out in the shops at the moment. Mm -hmm. So if you are trying to pick a new colour for mm -hmm. your wardrobe, do yourself a favour and go with the one that's in the shop rather than trying to pick some obscure turquoise colour that you can't find anywhere. Yes. That is going to go lovely, Ooh, especially lovely. with that. And this is where I would probably bring in the cream mm -hmm. top as well and do something like that. So you can see there, with just with those four main pieces, five, five main pieces, you could yeah. swap that whole outfit out nice. and it would look really nice. I won't go through every single outfit on here today because we're a little bit pushed for time because we did the makeup, but I will be photographing everything that she puts on. So we'll put those on at the side as we go along, okay? But let's bring you back to reality a little bit. Mm -hmm. When we're in the UK, yes. we might need to norm up a bit. <laughs> warm yeah. up a bit. We might need to give you some coverage on the arms. We might not want to wear a silk top if you're with the kids. Yeah going to I don't know sports a, <laughs> sports, 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 field. Field. Yeah, sports <laughs> field or anything like that so it's about making those shorts more practical for British summertime okay so all we've done is change the top up for this really really lovely top from John Lewis I think it was about 35 pounds cheesecloth effect 
it's got the shoulder so that's what we want because that is going to balance her out even though she's not massively out of proportion or anything <laughs> i know you feel it and so you're very kind to me yeah. <laughs> and when you feel it you're going to feel better if you are put back yeah. into it so that's really lovely but i don't want to teach everybody to suck eggs too much but you can see there how a lovely yeah. pair of jeans that that makes nice. it a lot more wearable here in the UK mm -hmm. as well, doesn't it, with our, temp with our temperatures here. So that would look really, really lovely as well. So the casual jeans, the Reese top off the shoulder just elevates that look up. But I think it's the combination with the sliders and the belt that keeps it um, applicable to like a barbecue. Yes, or yeah. A dinner party around somebody's house in the summer or something on those lines. Totally, I mean, it's so comfortable. Yeah, it's really, really, really nice. Elegant as well. So yeah. Cool. One thing I was just thinking of is if you wanted to elevate it further, you could just put Ooh. a little heel on like that. Let's just try it. So this is just a sling back heel from H and M. Yeah, something like that, just to elevate it a little Ooh, I bit. I like those, they're comfy yeah. too. Yeah, that could be really nice. And I'm just going to flip this one sort of over your shoulders for now. But there's a nice way of finishing that off as well. I'm just going to come, yeah, really nice. So the reason I picked that colour blazer then is because it just sort of oh, toned yes, in of on the shoes. And that's a really nice yeah, I, I like nice. that. Yeah, oh, it looks lovely. Yeah, very, very nice. Okay, but let's have a look what else we could get out of this rail as well. Remembering that the whole point of this is that she's got some summer outfits, but also to bring it back to the UK. So on holiday, instead of the jeans, oh yes, we could put the yes because those on. Jeans. That would look really, really nice as well. How nice do these look? Really, Lovely really, these. yeah, they're cut absolutely beautiful. What I would say on a photograph, because the sheen, they almost don't look as good in the photograph as they do in real life. And I don't know if that comes across on the screen or not, but um, I just tried taking a few photographs of her and yeah, they just didn't come out as nice, not did as they? Nice, but no, you look absolutely really beautiful like, them, like that. Right with this top. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Obviously, we could have pulled the blazer out mm -hmm. and we could have done the silk underneath. Mm -hmm. I think that's the way I wore them, I think, actually. And then that's elevated even more. But this, I think, is a great mid option. Yeah. Because sometimes you go on these holidays and they're not actually as dressy as you think when no, you actually it. get there. Yeah, you need so a backup. <laughs> you need a backup, exactly. So make sure that your backups are the same sort of um, colourways mm -hmm. and then you can swap in and out really, really easy. And you could wear that top again with some denim shorts. Yes, oh yes. Um, anything, so don't just keep it for best. Okay, back again with, I think this is one of my favourite outfits. Yeah, I love it. It's beautiful. It's really fresh. Really fresh. It feels really modern, but mm. it feels age appropriate yeah. and comfy at the same time. Mm -hmm. And all we've got on here is a linen shirt from H&M, just a tight base layer. The trousers are from Brees and we've got the gorgeous Air and Grace trainers on as well and the bag is from Reese as well. We will put an alternative bag on the Moonsift board for you, on the Lynx board, because this is rather expensive and you don't need to pay as much as this is. But I think your foundation pieces here are absolutely spot on. I really do like that one. And I'll tell you what's going to look really nice as well is bringing your accent colour Ooh, yes. into that as well. So. Yeah. Let's try that one um, next. Okay. Okay. Okay, so all I've done now is inserted a bit of the colour into you, but I'll show you a little trick. The terracotta colour that we call it, is that what you would call it? Mm, yeah, otherwise? I think it's lovely. Yeah, yeah it's, it is really beautiful. It's mm. actually a colour that suits a lot of people, but this terracotta looks better with a little bit of white showing like that. Did you see the difference yeah. just even from that to that? So how we go about making sure that that jumper stays up a little bit and shows that white, we can do one or two things. We could just get a pin and pin it up at the side there. Just a normal sort of safety pin, only at the one side as well, because the very nature of it sort of 
up at one side, down at the mm -hmm. other, gives that casual type of look. Mm -hmm. Or you can use a stretchy belt like this. This is this is an old one, but I can link them from Amazon. They're very inexpensive. The reason we use stretchy is just so it's really comfortable. And all I'm going to do is put that around the waist. And then that is your new waistband. And then that will hold that in place. That's really nice. Mm, that's yeah. Lovely. That'll hold that in place all, all day, really, like that. We'll pull the sleeves up, make her, oh, that one's already up. Even just at the top here, because she's got this lovely, beautiful neckline there, you want to show that off, but showing the little bit of white as well just breaks the colour up there. The other illusion that doing this actually does, it elongates that waist, so the jumper is sticking out more than your hips and your stomach. So if you are hiding a little bit of a stomach there, that's a really, really nice trick. I love that. We probably need to finish off with a bag. So we could obviously do that one again, which does fit in really nice. Yes, or nice. we could do that one. And this is what I talk about as in being tonal. So that's not, this bag is not exactly the same colour as that, but it's it blends yeah, in, it's, it's sort of the same hue. So I know a lot of you sort of get hung up on, oh, I can't find a bag or I can't find a hat to match my wedding outfit. You often don't need to, you just need to go for a different hue. We've got some extra virgil trainers on here, the same Reese pants as before. And I think you look lovely. Let me just think about it actually, because you could do one more thing. Mm -hmm. You could put that beautiful blazer on top like that. Oh, that would look, can oh, you see nice. that? Yeah. That would look that's really, lovely. really nice. Or if a blazer wasn't warranted, we've just got this coat here from, this is Zara and this is a size medium. These coats are coming up very big. So let me just check that. Yeah, it's a medium. It's $79.99. Really like that. nice. It's lovely. It feels really smart. Really, really Gorgeous. nice. Are you a scarf type of lady? I do like a scarf. <gasps> Give me a scarf. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure we've got one that suits perfectly, but if I just use it as an example for you now, you could just pop it around like that. Oh, I love that. Yeah, and it would just add a little bit of something. Elevates my outfit. E Elevates your it. outfit. Let's put that in your arm. Oh, very nice. I'm very, off. <laughs> <laughs> very sophisticated yeah. at home look. Really nice. Okay, so all we have done here is added in this khaki jacket from H&M. This wasn't available before when I showed it, but it is available online. And yeah, just added it to this combination really, just to pare it down a little bit. Yeah, I like yeah, this. Really, really nice. Lovely. And I was just saying to Hannah off camera that what little bit of white there really helps against the green and the terracotta. If we didn't have that there, it might get a little bit sort of murky mm -hmm. with the colours. Mm -hmm. You almost need that freshness of Freshens white up, to it? break yeah. that up. Yeah, yeah really that. nice. But let's have a look at what else we've got on the rail for you. Back again with this beautiful blouse. I think I have I've certainly shown this over on Instagram. Um, that's the point actually. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I do put something on there sort of most days and that's where I showcase some of the clothes as soon as they come into the studio. So if you do find that they're sold out by the time we're on YouTube, then you might want to go over and follow me on Instagram because then you get to see them sometimes a little bit sooner, but not always. But this is lovely. H&M shirt, it's doing all the work, which is just this little bit of broadening on the shoulders, mixed with these H&M jeans. I've just brought the brown shoes and the brown belt back just to bring that outfit together. But I just think that is so yeah, really easy. effortless. Well, yeah, I love it. It's yeah, beautiful. really, really effortless. Like you could throw a really nice jumper over your shoulders. In fact, you could, oh look, you know, you could just sort of put that sort of thing if you wanted yeah, to nice. add a little bit of colour that would be really nice you could swap any of this up for just a good old plain stripy oh, top yeah, love stripe. as well so you know if the blouse is a little bit flouncy for you and you just want to pare it down all you need to think about is just the 
plain stripes and the jean rather than the blouse and the stripe and the jean. So it depends on your lifestyle as to how far you want to take the combinations. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So when you're just around the house, yeah, I'd swap up to that yeah. and a navy pair of joggers. Yeah, to oh, be yeah. honest yes, with you, yes, those actually. Yes, those. those. <laughs> yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, lovely. so yeah, that would make a really really nice combination. Yeah. But even that, you know, you only have to put one of these jackets or one of the blazers over it, it and it thing. changes it completely yeah. but the point is absolutely everything has mixed and matched one last outfit for you but just before i talk you through this one we did have two really lovely gorgeous summer outfits a lovely um, jumpsuit and then a really really lovely dress we'll link them for you but unfortunately neither of them fit no. they they, let's say they exposed a little bit too much of Hannah for YouTube. Yeah. They would have been perfect for a different type of channel, but not for my channel. So I will link them in there because they are really lovely dresses, but they just didn't fit quite right for Hannah on this occasion. So we'll leave you with this one. The shacket again, and all we've done this time is put a really plain cream jumper on kept the same jeans on and we've just added a loafer in there that's just sort of elevate it a little bit there's no reason why you couldn't have picked any of these shoes actually yeah. just yeah. to whatever yeah. makes it appropriate for wherever you were going really. i love it all melissa i really oh, do good. thank you so much good yeah well um i think you're taking most of it home with you aren't you yes <laughs> everything so that's good i will get you that's the happy. i will get you the replacement dresses because i should say she did love the dresses they were just too big and therefore she was hanging out of the top a little bit so yeah we'll get those for her um but yeah thank you very much for being our model today for having me um like i say you can now book hannah so as you can see she's super friendly and super <laughs> lovely she's very used to doing the zoom sessions aren't you so she uses yeah. what's in your makeup bag and then maybe just the odd product i found that you've perhaps exactly. had to use on people yeah most people find they either either have enough in the kit or actually yeah. a lot of people don't want to wear a lot of makeup they yeah. just want to enhance what they've got they just want exactly. to look you know sort of glowy and beautiful and you know just fresh yes nice fresh yeah. looks and you've got the, you can teach them really yeah. easily can't you so if that is of any interest or you want to book myself or claire or any of the other team um the rest of the team do face-to-face -face appointments at the moment where me and claire are trying to focus on online just because the demand is so high but do get in touch i will put a link down here to my website where you can book book any of us should you um feel that that's right for you so thank you very much for watching if you could press that subscribe button we would be most grateful thank you thank you bye <laughs> bye